Dora, 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 Dora. Ugh. I usually have like firm, like a shawarma, a shawarma, a shawarma. What is wrong with you today? Shawarma. Shall we begin? These are my May favorites. You guys know the drill. These are just things I've been loving in May. Food items, restaurants, shows, pretty much anything. So number one on my list uh, are my earrings. Now I know a lot of you have been commenting about these on social media and in one of my videos, I don't remember which video it was, I think one of the last few videos I wore these and everybody's like, where are your earrings from? Where are your earrings from? So these are from Dora, which is a Jepper based label. And you guys, I think saw it in my Jepper shopping video as well. I will link it here. But yeah, I will link these below. These are just like little, like not little drops, really large drops, but I love, love, love them. Like they're so, different, unique, and they just work with anything. And the best part about them is that they're super light. Like you guys know I have massive ear holes and I don't do heavy earrings. These just work really well. Number two is Monopoly Deal. I have to admit, I was introduced to this game at the Cosmo Blogger Awards in Delhi. So we were all there for the weekend and uh, Kayan, Anam, me and Manu, we played this game till like what, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Anam, you will give me Eight plus four. Ah! Right. I win! <laughs> it was so, so much fun. And after I had to go out and buy it, like I literally was like, okay, I want to go out and buy this. And it's fun if you like, you can play it with two people, you can play it with like a big group. It's actually fun in larger groups, obviously. But like, it's so easy. Like I remember playing a lot of Monopoly and I actually loved the board game, but this is just a much easier format to carry anywhere. Kind of games like Uno and Monopoly Deal and what else? Yeah, so I've been loving this lately. Up next, we have my favorite restaurant. Now, I don't think I've loved the restaurant this much in a really long time. The place I'm talking about is Beirut, which is this new restaurant open in Kolaba. It has like Middle Eastern food and everything is so, so good. Like the hummus, the kebabs, the shish kebab, the, uh, what is that cake? The lotus biscuit cake, I think. Oh my God, everything is so, so good. But it is like the hardest place to get a table in. And it's just so crowded. Like Weber and me have been, what, four or five times since they opened, like in the last month alone. Like we're obsessed with the place. Every time we're in Kolaba, we look at each other and we're like, Beirut, Beirut. But like it's impossible to get a table. Like you should like literally beg the hostess and be like, please, can we get a table? Please, we'll be done in like 10 minutes. Please, can we get a table? So yeah, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. But make a reservation. Okay, the next item on my food favorites list is this. It is Desi Nature's Amla Candy. Now, I have to admit my mother introduced me to this. My mother introduces me to very few things. It's usually the other way around, but my mom like bought these from somewhere and then she was just like, it's out of stock, it's out of stock, it's out of stock. And I was like, okay, mom, like it's just candy, calm down. When I finally found it, I was just like, okay, maybe I should get two boxes and see what the fuss is about. And, hmm. You can't stop once you start. That's the problem. That is why my mother wanted amla candy because she is an amla addict and so am I now. It's absolutely yummy. Not healthy. I shouldn't be talking with my mouth full, but I am. So it says no artificial color or flavor, but it has amla, sugar, and citric acid. So there is sugar, which is why it's sweet and it's dried amla basically. But it is so yummy. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Most of we have my favorite song. I am absolutely obsessed with this song. Okay, so this is Don't You Need Somebody by Red One, I think. Uh, it features Enrique, Shaggy. Lots of, uh, I think, the early 2000 artists that I was in love with when I was a teenager. Maybe that's why I love it. Uh, but no, it's one of those songs that I've kind of gotten addicted to. I don't know, it makes you feel good. Like, it's amazing when you're working out, when you're just taking a shower. Like, my newest obsession is putting a speaker in the shower and, like, actually, like, dancing every day when I take a shower. Do you guys do that? So I haven't been using a lot of makeup this last month and I feel like as I go into the monsoon, I start using less and less makeup. I was also thinking of doing like maybe a waterproof series on 
all things that are waterproof and amazing it could be bag shoes uh makeup anything let me know in the comments if you guys think that's a good idea or not yay or nay <laughs> okay favorite lipstick it's the one i am wearing this is i can't see the shade name but the shade number is 306 this is the infallible pro matte gloss i did a first impressions video with this and a whole bunch of products if you haven't watched that yet it's here watch it now and uh, this this one has turned out to be my favorite color of all the nine shades it has a really nice applicating wand you know like a triangular flat wand and it makes it really easy to apply which is what i love about it and the color and the pigment stays really long it's actually the same shade i used on sejal in our last video if you just watched the cola video we did we did two videos i will also link that here um check it out if you haven't watched it yet it was really fun we did a style swap i dressed her as me so i put this on her and she dressed me as her so yeah this is definitely a color that i love you guys know i love pinks this is kind of like a pinkish red you know what i mean like it's not a pink pink which is why i like it so it's nice it's pigmented it's hydrating and it looks amazing okay now i just look mad <laughs> but yeah i like this okay so it's time for my favorite movie i actually haven't had the time to go watch a movie in the theater in may when we really wanted to watch deadpool but never happened so yeah still gotta go out and watch a movie the movie i'm gonna talk about today is a movie i saw on netflix it's called valley uprising and it's a documentary about uh the beginning of rock climbing and you know kind of like the founding fathers of rock climbing and it was so so interesting i have to tell you uh definitely worth a watch so i don't know if you're not on netflix i don't know how you can watch it but it was amazing. Okay, next up we have some new equipment. So I bought this, which is my Manfrotto butterfly tripod. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's This is basically my vlog camera. And whenever we travel or we do like uh, day in my life videos and things like that, this is what I use. So it's kind of like this. And it's amazing why, because I feel like this was definitely made for vloggers. It's really good because you can just hold it like this. You can hold it this way or you can just put it down anywhere and it works really really well easy to adjust and it's perfect for a small point and shoot camera so if you guys even have like a, a small point and shoot like this for your pictures and things like that this is super light super convenient for like travel stuff and all of that i did buy one of these in um my earlier to buy or not to buy videos i think it was in one of them that was like really crap quality and it broke in like two days so don't buy random ones um i will link this one below this is from manfrotto which is a reputed company and their stuff is really good quality so if you're looking for a mini tripod for your phone or point and shoot camera this is great favorite moment uh has to be when hot streets launch so you guys kind of came with me on the journey you know i vlogged in bangalore i vlogged in uh, Jaipur and uh, Shillong and I feel like you guys you know were on the journey with me so it was interesting because you got it like a behind the scenes view and then the actual episode so you know what I'm talking about it was really really hectic we did five cities in like what three weeks and it was crazy and it was amazing to see like street style and fashion in each city and how it's different I met some amazing people while I was filming and for me as a show this was something that I did um, what, that really interested me like I love fashion and I just felt like this was an amazing experience so uh, if you still haven't watched it i will link it here and also put in the description make sure you check it out we are on episode 3 which is jaipur and we have shillong and bangalore coming up next super super excited loved working in the show so when the show went live that was a really special moment for me for sure check it out if you haven't here here okay now it's time for my favorite shows of the month so i've been watching so much stuff lately um i'm on season five of scandal olivia is still like making me crazy and she keeps me up late at night it just gets better and better have you guys watched like the further seasons is it better because so far i'm addicted like i can't stop and i don't know what i'll do once the show's over i'll be like one of those what do I do? So that is number one. Number two, 13 reasons why season two. Okay, I have to admit it started out really slow for me, but it got more and more intense as, you know, the episodes progressed. I just feel like now it's become like there's this whole big social message about mental health and a lot of other problems that teenagers face today, which I think is great because it kind of starts a dialogue and it gives you a solution as well because I think a lot of people were unhappy with the first season. So I would definitely recommend watching it. 
but I still feel like I love the first season more than this one. Another new show I've been loving on Netflix is Explained. It is this new mini series. The episodes are really short, like I think they're like 15 minutes each or something. It just explains random concepts to you. Like there's an episode on K-pop and it just tells you the history of K-pop or what K-pop is and like random things that you know you ask these questions like you would ask your friends or you think about them but you don't really know about them it's really crisp really short i like that a lot okay the other one i watched is confession tapes which is amazing it is all about wrongful convictions through like forced confessions and things like that it kind of makes you realize that there's so many people out there who don't get justice or you know who are in jail for a crime they didn't commit it's really interesting so if you're someone who's into like crime and documentaries you will like this one and the last one is the traffickers now this is a series where uh, this journalist kind of travels across the globe and she talks about all sorts of stuff that's been trafficked so human beings organs uh, drugs like guns so yeah again that was really different and interesting so those were my main favorites please comment below with your main favorites shows restaurants movies makeup anything and also if you haven't watched my last video check it out here subscribe and hit that bell button bye